currently reporting from the bridge of a Shivali class ship and what you see behind me is the coastline of Mumbai. Believed it, didn't you? But that's not the reality. This is the state of the art simulator that has been set up at the integrated simulator complex at the naval base in Kochi. Explain to us what exactly the setup is. Okay, uh, the simulator is set up to train the bridge team and the future navigators and the officers of the Indian Navy. So what you are seeing right now is I am simulated a Shivali class bridge and I am entering Mumbai Harbour. So you can see the aircraft carrier, you can see the various class of ships which are entering harbour. So with this visualization, they get an understanding of how far or how the ship looks like at this particular range and what are the challenges they are being faced to enter a particular harbour. You said Mumbai coastline. So is this the exact coastline? Have you mapped it? Uh, uh, that's right ma'am, what you can see is the exact coastline of Mumbai Harbour. So we do it by taking extensive photographs and videography. We put it in, put it in the software and it simulates the conditions. So not only Mumbai, I can simulate all the major harbours of India and some foreign harbours as well. Uh, you know, when we go for driving classes like the four-wheeler driving, uh, they t put us in a simulator to tell us the road conditions, how you need to navigate and all of that. How do you do that in a ship-like situation? How does that simulation work? Okay, so in over here, I can simulate conditions like rainfall or rough weather. So navigator has to take his ship safely because I'm exposed to the weather elements. So now you can see I've simulated rain conditions. Along with that, the sea state also starts, uh, the sea starts getting rough. So navigator has a challenge to keep his ship safe, his men safe at the same time completing the mission which is assigned to him. So it becomes quite a endurance for him. So he gets hand-on experience before venturing out at the sea, how the ship behaves exactly in the situation what actions to take to keep the ship safe. Daytime, everything is visual to me, so it becomes easier to understand the situation. But if you change to night, my perception changes, my deaf perception changes. Plus, at night, I'm exposed to a lot of small lights, fishing nets and fishing vessels, which I have to, I, of course, I cannot collide with them. So this, as you can see, is total night conditions, and now you cannot see the ship also. So in these conditions, it's a challenging for a navigator to safely navigate the ship, get his men home safely. And. Uh you know, when you stand here at the simulator, it's rocking, right? Like in the sense that you get that rocking sensation. I was just giving to one of these officers here that I'm already feeling seasick. That is also part of the simulation it's, experience. Uh, yes, well, it's part of the visualization. So there's nothing below the deck. What you're standing is solid flow. But the visualizations make you feel that you're rolling. So it gives you the actual feel of a ship. And how important are these kind of, uh, you know, setups in terms of technology uh, for the future generations, you know, in terms of training, in terms of uh, expertise, how, how important are these types? So when if you go on a bridge, you have a lot of uh, equipment fitted. So what I've simulated here is the actual uh, feel of a bridge. So anyone coming here for the first time, you know, for the officers who are coming for training, they come for the first time. They're not used to a lot of aids. So this helps them to navigate an actual ship. So what are mistakes, what are they trying to do here? does help them in their actual endeavors, keeping the, what we do the mission, mission is achieved as well as getting your ship safe. Learning about stars and constellations is extremely important to ascertain the direction and all of that. So this is basically a projection of the stars in the sky, the constellations in the sky and trainees, uh, the Indian Navy trainees of course are taught how to read these constellations, how to read these stars, how to locate them and then subsequently plot their uh, directions. So I'm just going to speak to Vibor Jain here to try and understand what exactly is the simulation that you're showing us. Right now we are simulating the uh, morning sky of Kochi. Our present location is approximately 10 degrees north and 76 degrees east. Just now by looking at sky we cannot uh, identify our own location. So for that we have to take help of uh, various stars as well as constellations. So for that part, uh, first and pri uh, primary star in northern hemisphere is basically our uh, Polaris which is also called as Dhruv Tara. For that identification we need to have uh, a look at Cassiopeia constellation which you are able to see over here. So from Cassiopeia we are able to find out our north direction and apart from that uh, we are also able to calculate latitude using Polaris. Then uh, during sunrise time, uh, as after the morning twilight, the sun is going to come up. For example, you're not getting any GPS location or uh, signals. In that case, you will be requiring help of all these heavenly bodies like sun, moon, stars and planets so that we can calculate our own position. So clearly the Indian Navy is leaving no stone unturned in adopting technologies uh, in, to excel in whatever they do and this was just a small demonstration of that. 
with video journalist Tinku. This is Shilpa Nair in Kochi for Inter Today.